I am only answering questions to larger public who don't do any practice. Some point I will stop the entertainment, totally. I am not the sort to give you a conclusion, I am a process. If you are willing to be a process of growth, I am there for you. You want a conclusion, I will frustrate you. The idea of doing sadhana is all the questions will burn, not that you will find answers. <laughs> Don't ever believe your intellect will know, it will not know. I have hundreds of questions. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I would just ask one. I would like to know the practices you offer, like Hatha Yoga, Shambhavi and Shakti Jalana, and the process of Chamyama. If one follows this intensely with involvement, will all of, the, will all of my questions get answered? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No, none of your questions <laughs> will be answered. <laughs> I am only answering questions to larger public who don't do any practice. Those who are practicing every day intensely, am I taking any of their questions or answering any questions? No, I don't because the idea of doing sadhana is all the questions will burn, not that you'll find answers <laughs> If your questions are gone, what do answers mean? People who don't do anything about their internal well-being, but think by asking a question and hearing an answer, their life is going to be settled we are still entertaining them, okay? <laughs> At some point I will stop the entertainment, totally. But right now it's still on. At some point it will be only available to those who are intensely doing their sadhana. For the rest, uh, they must listen to the YouTube. <laughs> because. You know, old cinema is always entertaining. Because you need to understand this. Questions are coming from a place which can never know. That place from which you are asking questions is not capable of knowing anything. It wants a conclusion. I am not the sort to give you a conclusion, I am a process. If you are willing to be a process of growth, I am there for you. You want a conclusion, I will frustrate you <laughs> because what is the point of a conclusion? This is an ongoing process and the process becomes so beautiful and heady, that you don't care where is the conclusion, then you don't have any questions. So if I do all my sadhana, <laughs> you are talking about it like it's some torturous process that if I do all this, <laughs> will all my questions <laughs> get answered? <laughs> See, uh, this happened. Shankar and Pillai. Hey, this is not fair, it's not always funny, sometimes it's serious. Shankar and Pillai filed for divorce. In the divorce, uh, whatever the form that they filed in the court, he said that I want separation because of illness and exhaustion. The judge looked at this and asked, what is this illness and exhaustion? 
So Shankaran Pillai said, that's my lawyer's job, I only said I'm sick and tired of her. So questions can be answered in many ways. So, as a beginner, if you have questions, because that is how yearning begins, in the form of questions, it's okay. We are not against questions, but I want you to know the place from which all these questions are manufactured, that place is incapable of knowing. It's like this, you know, do you do this? <laughs> Don't do that. No, you must do it somewhere in your bathroom, at least you must do that. You should not do it everywhere. <laughs> so you do this vibe to clean your nostrils. So after some time if you ask, can my finger breathe? It can clean up the passage, but it cannot breathe. So don't ever believe your intellect will know, it will not know. It asks questions because it's like that right now, it's okay, nothing wrong with it <laughs>